this is your restorative yoga for deep relaxation. Hi friends, I am Katie Arnold. Welcome back to your practice. Welcome to this very gentle, very restorative yoga practice. This class is all about relaxing. It's all about letting go of our days, whatever may have come before, whatever may be coming next, and seeing if we can get our bodies into a really peaceful, relaxed state. There are so many things coming at us in our lives these, these days, and this practice is that time to reconnect back to yourself. I will say, if you have never done restorative yoga before, it can feel a little weird, a little not even a little, but a lot different than some of the other classes on my channel and especially any of the flow style classes. It does not mean that it is any less beneficial. These classes are such a beautiful addition to your practice. So I highly encourage you to take them on a regular basis. And yeah, so for this practice, restorative yoga uses a lot of props. We help put our bodies in different positions where we get a really passive stretch and a passive opening. You won't necessarily feel an active stretch in your body through the majority of these postures today. The props that I am suggesting for class today, a bolster. If you do not have a bolster at home, please do not leave. Please go grab a pillow or two, the pillows from your bed or a couch cushion is a great replacement. Have pillows nearby. They are a great replacement. You do not need anything fancy for this. If you do find that you really enjoy restorative yoga and you want to grab a bolster, I will leave a link in the description with some great options, some great things that you could ask for for Christmas or treat yourself to. I am also recommending a block or two or a block replacement of some sort. If you are grabbing pillows, grab a few extra ones. Pillows could be used as a replacement for this practice today in our place of these blocks. So go ahead, roll out your yoga mat and meet me right back here. All right, friends, so we are going to get started in an easy seat. I will say I am propped up on a tiny little pillow. You could sit on the edge of a pillow. You could sit on the edge of a blanket that's rolled up. If you have one nearby, you could sit on your bolster. You could sit on a block. You could use nothing. It's totally your choice. But root down through those sit bones, and we're going to start with a little bit of breath work. This breath work is called Nadi Shodna or alternate nostril breathing. And it is a beautiful way to calm and balance the nervous system. And so to do Nadi Shodna, we're gonna take our right hand and we're gonna use the thumb to block off the right nostril. And then I'll have you inhale through the left. Once we do that, we will use the ring and pinky finger to block off the left nostril open up the right and exhale through the right. Then we will inhale through the right, block off the right, open the left and exhale through the left. And then we repeat that cycle. And I'm gonna guide us through about a minute together. And then once you have a hang of how that goes, I'm going to leave you and let you continue on your own at your own pace for about another two minutes. So we're gonna do this alternate nostril breathing for about three minutes to really bring us into our present moment. If you start to get a hang of this breathwork practice and your pace of your breath is a little bit different than mine and I'm still guiding, go ahead and just leave me, continue on your own and yeah, go at your own pace. So if you pick up on it sooner, you can go at your own pace. All right, so we're gonna take that right hand, block off that right nostril, and some people will say you can take the pointer and middle finger and you can fold them in towards the palm of your hand. I actually like to use this more as like an anchor, and I'll take my pointer and middle finger 
and bring them to the space between my eyebrows to that third eye center. And then I find this opening and closing to be easier. So it's like that little anchor. You can take either variation that works for you. So start by blocking off that right nostril and inhale through the left. Close the left, open the right, and exhale. Inhale, right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale, left. Close, open the right, exhale. Inhale, right nostril. Close it off, open the left, exhale. Inhale, left. Close it off, open the right. Inhale, right. Close other side, exhale. Inhale, left and continue on your own. Take one more round and you're going to finish with the exhale on the left side. Releasing your hands down into your lap. Just take a few moments here, breathing through both nostrils. Noticing how you feel. Hopefully you're already feeling a little bit more relaxed. A little bit more in our present moment. Right, and so we're gonna get into our next posture. We're gonna come into a supported child's pose. So for this practice, or for this child's pose today, 
I am going to use my bolster and one of my blocks. You could always use both blocks if you want to. You could no, use no blocks as well. And I am just stacking, creating a little ramp with that block down and then resting the bolster. And then I'm gonna take my knees out nice and wide and just start to walk my fingertips down, coming into that child's pose, moving my hair out of the way, <laughs> walking those fingertips down. You can come onto your forearms and you can stay right here if this is enough support, but you can also rest all the way down, bringing one of those ears down onto that bolster. I like to grab that block with my hands just to give them something to hold on to. And we're gonna be here for about three minutes on this side as well. And so I will let you know about halfway through so you can bring the other ear down to your bolster and just see if you can invite in as much rest and stillness as is comfortable for you, as is available to you. And maybe even over time you soften a little bit more, allowing this bolster to fully support you. And just allowing your breath to be really natural and easy. Slow inhales and exhales. Then go ahead and just switch, bringing the other ear down onto your bolster. Take a big breath in through the nose. Exhale out of an open mouth. Starting to press yourself up and off of your bolster. Go ahead and just move it out of the way for the time being, moving that block out of the way. And we'll come into a neutral tabletop position. And then keep that left hand planted. Inhale, reach that right arm up towards the ceiling. And exhale, thread that right arm underneath the left, coming into a thread the needle. That left hand can stay in your face, in front of your face, or you can walk it forward towards the top of your space.
first bring that left hand back in front of the face, press into the palm, inhale, sweep that right arm back up and open. Back down to that neutral tabletop position. Keep that right hand planted now, inhale, reach that left arm up and open. And exhale, threading the left arm underneath the right. Right hand can stay where it is, or you can walk it forward. We're here for five breaths. Bring that right hand back in front of the face, press into the palm, inhale, sweep that left arm up and open. Back down to our neutral tabletop position. All right, grabbing our bolster or your pillows or whatever you're using, and we're gonna bring them about halfway down our mat. And we're gonna walk our hands out in front of it. And we're gonna start to lower all the way down onto that bolster and you might have to make a few adjustments and then you're going to stack your hands and let your forehead rest down on those stacked hands and so the pelvis is gently gently resting atop that bolster the legs are extended back and then softened Letting that forehead rest down on those stacked hands. Might even take some gentle rocks of the forehead side to side, massaging out that third eye. Our space of intuition will be here again for about three minutes. And so welcoming as much softness and relaxation as you can into the body.
Take a big breath in through the nose. Let it go. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders, pressing yourself back up to your tabletop position. And go ahead and move that bolster out of the way. And let's take a couple rounds of cat and cow. So inhaling, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze. And exhale, round the spine. Inhale, let that belly drop, heart shines forward. Exhale, chin to chest. And take a couple more rounds of this cat and cow. Maybe you wanna take some barrel rolls, those little hip circles. Making sure to take them in both directions. Just working out any of the kinks. All right, and then we'll come back to a seat. Extend the legs out in front of you, and I'm gonna give you a few options. We're gonna take a seated wide leg fold. So bringing those legs as wide as is comfortable for you. And for this, I personally like to use my blocks, but an option is to also use a bolster. You could create that little ramp and fold forward, and maybe you can rest all the way forward. Maybe you don't need the ramp and you can rest all the way forward. That's really going to depend on your personal body. What I like to do is take my blocks and stack them up and then I can't fold forward very much. And so I just rest my forearms as much as is comfortable right here. Another option is to still do that and then you could take and build just a higher ramp with your bolster and let your forehead rest right here. So that would be another alternative if that is comfortable for your body today. So taking whatever variation of this supported fold and then release any of that tension in the toes. So not worrying so much about flexing the toes back towards your face, release some of that tension that you might be holding on to. And see if we can just soften as much here as possible. We're gonna be here for a couple minutes. You will notice with all of these restorative postures, we do hold them longer. In some classes, you could be holding a posture for three, five, eight, 10, 15 minutes even. And I know it sounds like a lot and it can be a lot, especially if we notice our mind kind of wandering away. But I really enjoy these longer holds of restorative yoga postures and the softening that can truly exist within these postures when we invite it to. Just allowing gravity to create the opening in our body. And focusing on that breath down the entire backside body.
Take another big breath in through the nose. Exhale out of an open mouth. And starting to sit back up nice and tall. Moving those blocks or whatever props you were using out of the way. Use those hands to help bring the legs together. And then bring your bolster or pillows over onto the right side of your mat. And we're going to lower all the way down onto our backs. And when you get there, bring the knees into the chest. Take a few gentle rocks side to side. Massaging out that low back, maybe taking some circles with the knees. And ensuring you take those circles in both directions. Take a nice big breath in. And exhale, drop those knees over towards the right, letting them rest down on your bolster or your pillows. And if it feels good, you can extend that left arm out of your shoulder, gazing over your left shoulder, really allowing this supine twist to be supportive gentle, closing down the eyes if you're comfortable with it. Breathing into this gentle twist. Inhale, bringing those knees back into the chest. Take a couple of those gentle rocks side to side. And grabbing your bolster and take it over towards the left side of your mat and take a nice big inhale breath. And drop your knees over towards the left. So taking your supine twist to the other side, maybe that right arm extends out of the shoulder. Using your breath to soften into this posture.
a big inhale breath. Exhale to let it go. Bring those knees back into your chest. If any final rocks side to side feel like they're calling you, I invite you to take them. Otherwise, we're going to set up for Shavasana, our final resting posture. If you have a bolster, that can be really nice underneath the knees, so just sliding it down. Pillows can be nice. If you have a blanket nearby and you're chilly, you can always cover yourself up with it. We will be in the Shavasana for about four or five minutes. So just let yourself soften in. And as you land here, I invite you to get out any of those wiggles that you need to. For me, I always kind of find my shoulders are the part that I need to wiggle out the most. And start to invite in some softness and stillness. Encourage that breath, especially that exhale to lengthen even more. a few more breaths right here. Take a big inhale breath all the way down into the belly. 
exhale out an open mouth. Start to wiggle fingers and toes. Pull around the wrists and the ankles. You might take a big good morning stretch, reaching long from your fingertips to your toes. And as you're ready, rolling over onto your favorite side, coming into a fetal position. And pressing yourself up to a nice, easy seat. Letting your sit bones be heavy. Allowing the crown of your head to pull towards the sky. Drop the shoulders down the back. Inhale, sweep those arms out nice and wide, gathering all of that relaxation that we've built today. Pull your hands down through heart center. Thank you so much for joining me. Om Shanti. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you are feeling so much more relaxed after that practice. I know that I definitely am. If you have not already grabbed my free mindful movement class calendar, the link is in the description below. It is a beautiful way to meet your body where it is at on any given day and choose the movement practice that meets you where you're at. So the link is in the description. If you have not already subscribed, please take a moment to do that. Like this video. Let me know in the comments if there is something you are working on in your practice or something that you are needing more of so I can help bring you that here on my channel. All right, I will see you all back here for your next practice.